Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I thought I would make a video um, for this new bag I just acquired. This is the Louis Vuitton Papillon Monogram Pink um, in the Cherry Blossom pattern. So this is actually a limited edition piece. It was made, um, this one was made in 2003 um, by Takeshi Murakami. So, let's see, I purchased this bag from Fashion File. It's actually the first time I ever bought anything from first Fashion File. Um, and my experience so far, you know, it was pretty good. My, my bag was packaged and it was in a big box. It came in a Fashion File dust bag because I don't have the, it didn't come with the original dust bag. Um, also, um, it was well packaged inside. Um, there's a ton of bubble wrap in there just to keep its shape. So the condition of this bag is considered good, according to a fashion file. The reason why it was good is because there's actually um, quite a bit of discoloration um, in the back here. It's a bit yellow. There's a couple of yellow spots and there's a bit of yellowing. It's hard to really tell um, on the side here as well. Um, it's very faint and um, if the light is dim, you can't even tell at all, but you can tell a bit in the daylight. Um, also, there was some, you know, scuffs around the corners, which actually I was able to clean up pretty well um, just by wiping in the the corners with some um, baby wipes um, so it turned out pretty well. Overall, I'm actually really satisfied with the quality of the bag and the item was described correctly um, by Fashion File. So um, the fascetta is actually in pretty good condition. Um, you know, the handles aren't crazy dark. So, which is great. Um, it doesn't seem like this bag was worn like a ton. Um, now, I guess we can talk about like how would you go about authenticating a piece like this. So, um, one thing is this piece comes with um, a lock right here. And the key is in this clutch right here. Um, the, the bag handles have these rivets. And there are, I counted them, there's actually 11 on each handle. So this, this handle here also has 11 rivets. The flap opening has 15 rivets. So all around, I counted them, there's 15 rivets around this bag. The pattern of the blossoms, you know, it's, it could be anything. It'll be different on my bag and it'll be different on a different bag. So that part is kind of random. Um, but one thing you might want to notice is the pattern of the blossoms should be quite um, bold, like the pink lining should be pretty bold. The faces should be pretty sharp. This is like some sort of silk screening technique that they use. Um, and the eyes here, um, they're actually slanted. They're pointing, um, they're slanted pointing upwards. So, um... If you find a bag and the eyes are round, then it's a counterfeit. Um, what else is there? So the, the, the canvas here is a light pink and then the monogram is like a, a little more pink. And the flowers obviously is a darker pink. So I think there's like about one, two, three, at least three different shades of pink that I can count. And if you count the lining, the like the lining, the the border here that that would make it four different colors of pink that you would be able to find on this bag. Um the interior, the date code will be in the corner of the bag. I believe it's in this corner right here. Um it's in one of the corners. It's like right at the top. It's impossible to it's really hard to see and mine's pretty stiff so it was really I couldn't really flip it up to look at it. Um you could take your camera, your phone camera and try to take a picture of it and that's what I ended up doing to get the date code for this bag. Um the hardware here, it says Louis Vuitton on the magnetic closure right here. There's also four screws um, on the top that have six points. So these four screws have six points. And then there's um, a stamp right here. Um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. This bag was made in France. Um, yeah. And the lining inside is microfiber. One thing about this bag is when I got it, it reached. It smelled like wax crayons. And apparently 
that's very common for bags that haven't been stored properly and that's probably why the the canvas started to see some discoloration as I mentioned um, you know from the back right here it's a little discolored right here and there's a couple spots right here and I've seen this in other in other bags like this as well um, so this is definitely not the worst of it although it's not it's not great but you know it is what it is I got it for a pretty good price on fashion file they were having um, a 30% off sale and this piece was actually 30% off and I grabbed it really quickly because I've been searching for this piece for a very very long time and I was okay with the fact that it wasn't pristine or perfect um you know I um I'm okay with 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 the condition that it's in so let me know if you have any additional questions um and yeah send me a message thanks bye